To make the easy top-down Christmas stockings, you'll need three colors of yarn. I'm using white for my toe, my heel, and my trim, and I'll be using this as my main color and this smaller amount for my accent color. So I'll start with your main color. You will also be needing a crochet hook, whatever goes with your yarn. I'm just using the regular size 4 chunky, anything, just regular craft acrylic, or whatever you're using at home, and whatever hook goes with your yarn. I'm using a 4.5, I could use a 5, I just have a 4.5 handy, so that's what I'm using. You'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need a needle, and you kind of need a stitch marker. You don't actually need one, but if you have one handy, keep it handy, you'll need it when you get to the toe. So to start, we're going to be making a slip knot and a, ch and a chain of 41. So just make your slip knot and chain 41. You want to chain loosely. You don't want to like be correcting your tension as you go along because we, I always chain tighter than I crochet. So go easy on your chain, on your tension, and I'll see you when you have 41. 41. So now lay your chain down so there's no twists in it with V's facing up and you're just going to take your hook and poke it into that first chain that you made. And then take your working yarn and you're just going to do a slip stitch. So bring it through and bring it through. So now you have a ring with no twists. This is going to be the top of your stocking. So now chain two to get some height one and two and then into the next stitch which is just here that one right there we're making a double crochet so one double crochet into each stitch going around you can decide if you're going into one loop or two loops just do the same thing all the way around we're going to be putting a trim on the top so don't worry about going into the back ridges you won't ever see it so just do whatever is easiest and most comfortable for you. And I'll see you at the end of this row. So at the end of the row, I have one more stitch to go into. So I'll make my last double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch, not to the top of your chain two, but you're going to slip stitch to the top of your actual double crochet. So put your hook all the way in drag the yarn, bring it back, and pull it through. And that you want to do a bit snugly. You don't want um, any, you don't want it to be loose there. And that'll hide our join. So now we're going to get our accent color. Now, leaving a tail, so I leave about a four inch tail. You want enough so you can make a knot later, to be honest. So put a loop on your hook, drag it through the loop you already have, and chain one with both strands and pull your blue tail down or your double crochet color down and just let it hang there you're not going to do anything to it you can drop this tail along your work we can work over it now into the very next stitch that little stitch there we're making a single crochet one single crochet so that's not wrapping your yarn just going in bringing your yarn back and wrapping your yarn and taking off two loops so we're doing a single crochet one into every stitch all the way around and you can go over your tail I go over about half of it and then I'll poke it back the other way with a darning needle it's up to you however you do your ends but this will also be hidden in our stocking we're putting trim over top so the chances of it bothering you later are slim. So one single crochet, one into every stitch, and I'll see you at the join. At the join, one single crochet into that last stitch. And now we have our slip stitch in the next one. We are just going to skip over it, and we're going to slip stitch to the first real single crochet. So that is really just making our join very tight. So we're not going to have a hole. We're, we're doing that that chain one and that chain two just to fill in that space they're not real stitches so we're always going to be ignoring them now I'm going to drop that green yarn or my single crochet color yarn 
and grab my double crochet collar again and chain two, one, two, and pull down on that green one. That'll snug it down onto my work. I chained one, I better chain two. There we go, so there's our chain two. Now I'm going to skip the first stitch on this round to keep my seam going straight. So instead of always going into the first one, you're going to go into the first one every other stitch and you're going to go into the last stitch here every other every other row you're skipping the first and every other row you're skipping the last. I'll show you as we go around. So skipping this first little guy, going into the second, double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch going around. And you can see here we skipped a stitch. That guy didn't get anything. That's fine. That's what we want for every other row of double crochet. So I'll see you at the join. I'll show you how to do it. So I've made my last double crochet, but because we skipped the first one, we're going to put one where we did that chain. So I'm going to go into that same stitch and do a double crochet. And slip stitch to the first real double crochet. So slip stitch tightly to the top of that. And that is our join for the second round. Now for, you can just grab your, drop your um, double crochet yarn and pick up your single crochet yarn and just bring it through the loop on your hook and pull down on your double crochet collar. So it's tight and chain one. And now sing, one single crochet in each stitch always starting with the stitch right in front, the tiny one in front of your chain one. So this row never changes. You're always doing it the same way. We only alternate how we start and finish the rows of double crochet. That just keeps the seam going down the back of your boot, down the back of the leg part, and it'll also keep it going underneath the foot. So whatever side your stocking is hanging on, it looks perfect. You can't see your join. So that's why we're taking, well, we're doing a little tricky bits, but it's worth it at the end. It looks fabulous. So I'll see you at the end of this row, and we'll do our start and end our double. So here we are ready to join. Skip your chain one and slip stitch to the top of your first single crochet. Nice little tight slip stitch. Drop your single crochet color and pick up your double crochet collar and bring it through the loop on your hook. Flip it over a little bit and pull down on that single crochet collar. That just tightens everything down. And chain two, one and two. Make sure it stays down. And now this stitch here, or the row before, I skipped the first stitch. So this row now, I'm gonna go into the first stitch. So that's the little guy right there. I'm going to make a single crochet right after my chain two. And now I'm going to skip this one at the end. So go all the way around and I'll show you this join. So at the join, there's one stitch left, so double crochet into the last stitch. And then there's the stitch with the chain. We're not putting anything there. We're just That's already finished because we did the double crochet right after. So now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the double crochet with a tight little slip stitch and then pick up our single crochet color, bring it through. So you know how to do this round. Pull down on that yarn to make it snug. Chain one and single crochet starting in the very first stitch, one in every stitch all the way around. Slip stitch to the top of the single crochet to join. I will meet you when we're doing that so we start another round of the double crochet together. So I've done my single crochet, slip stitch to the top of the single crochet to join, tight little slip stitch, and then grab your double crochet yarn, bring it through and pull down on the, the yarn you just finished using. Chain two to get your height. Now if you look in the row below, we went into the stitch right after our chain. So this one we're gonna skip this round. We're gonna skip this first little guy and go into the first normal size one. 
So we're skipping the first stitch, going into the second, one double crochet into each stitch. And I'll see you at the end of the row to finish this one off. So my last stitch is here. <clears throat> So my last stitch is here, double crochet, and now because I skipped the stitch after, I'm going to put one right where I did my chain. So my last double crochet will be right where my chain is. And slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet, always ignoring your chain. Just jump right over it, it'll just pull in your work nice and tight, so you don't have a hole where you join. And now you can kind of see all along here it's going up straight because we're alternating how we're doing our join. We alternate between skipping the first stitch and putting a stitch into the last stitch where our chain is or going into the first stitch and skipping where our chain is. So we just alternating doing that and instead of our work going this way and our seam kind of skipping along it ends up staying perfectly straight so when we fold our stocking this will end up being where the heel is. This will be the heel side. So no one will see it. The front is going to be perfect and the back is going to be perfect. And just along that edge is going to be a little bit weird, but nobody's going to notice. It's pretty much looking the same as the other side. So that's how we're hiding our work. So keep doing that. You're going to want to do 11 rows of double crochet ending in double crochet. So we've done one, two, three, and four together. You're going to do your other rows on your own and I'll see you when you have finished your 11th row of double crochet. So we've done our 11 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we can cut these two yarns. Leave enough of a tail. We're just going to make a knot, but leave enough tail that you're comfortable with it. Chain one with the working yarn, your double crochet yarn, and pull it through and tighten it down to make a knot. Now just turn it inside out a little bit. Actually I'll turn it all the way out. I can show you. So on the inside that's our yarn. That's where we've been joining. And that doesn't bother me. I don't mind it. If you don't, if you don't want this on the inside of your stocking then you'll have to change your yarn and fasten off each round. So these two yarns we have now we're just going to make a knot on top of the green row, so on top of your single crochet. So this one's going to be longer, we're just going to tie it on top there. So we're not tying it here up on the edge, basically. Let's make a regular knot. And pull it tight. Now you are welcome to weave in your ends wherever you want. I am just going to cut them about like that. Turn your work the right way around. Find your join where you were joining and you want to line that up in the middle. And you want to count your stitches. You want 21 stitches along the back and I do count the chain for this number. So you want 10 stitches on each side of your chain 2 basically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that guy to that guy. So that'll give us twenty-one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So from this guy to this guy. Now we're going to take our heel color yarn. I'm going to be using white and we're going to join on this side. So this is our first stitch here. So into that stitch I'm just going to put my hook and grab a loop of my yarn leaving about a five inch tail and bring it through and slip stitch with both to join. Now I can drop my tail. I can just leave that along my work. I'm going to chain one and pull that tail a bit. Now I'm going to, this is going to count as my first single crochet. So one single crochet into each stitch. So this is number two, three, twenty-one. 
2021. So there is our 21 stitches, single crochets across the top. Now, if you're making a different size stocking, you're welcome to make any size that you want. What you would like is the back side, like half of your stocking width, to be divisible by three. So this is 21 divisible by three, so into seven. So whatever number you have, divide it into thirds. So now we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and we're going to single crochet back along this side for two thirds of it. So I'm going to do seven plus seven, so I'm going to do 14 stitches, leaving one third empty. So whatever your stitch count is, but for us, if we're doing the exact same stitch count, we're going to be doing 14. So going into this very first stitch, making your first single crochet, this is number two, three, four, Fourteen. So now we've come back 14 stitches and we have seven stitches empty. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're going to go back seven. So we're going to go back one third of your total stitch count for your heel. So going into the very first stitch, your first single crochet, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and seven. So it looks kind of funny. It looks like that. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to go back doing the same seven again. So into the very first stitch, your first single crochet, one, two, and seven. So it looks funny. It looks like that. That's normal. So now make your, oops, dropping something. Make sure you have some good tension. You want this to be a small stitch that you're going to do. So into this single crochet that's empty at the bottom, we are going to make a single crochet into that stitch. So good tension. I'm really pulling my yarn because I want it to be a small stitch. Bring the yarn back and wrap the yarn and take off two. So there's our single crochet at the bottom. So now we're going to chain one turn our work and go into this very first stitch we did. We just made that one now, the small one. So one, two, and eight. So remember we added a stitch on that side. We added a single crochet. So now into this empty one down here, we're going to do the same thing. Good tension, pulling your yarn, making a small single crochet into that first empty one. Just as tight as can be and then chain one and turn your work. So now we're gonna go all the way back. So we're just gonna keep doing this back and forth until we have filled up these extra stitches on both sides. Make sure you go into that very first stitch with your first single crochet and then all the way across. You keep doing this until you have two stitches left on the, on the boot side, on the leg side, and then you kinda of do a little bit of extra work, but we'll do it together. But if you are an experienced crocheter, you're welcome to keep going on your own. Make sure you get into that last stitch. It's a bit on a on a hill. You can kind of see it, but make sure you get into that guy. That's your last one. You can keep counting all the way. It's one more stitch per row if you want to count. And a tight single crochet into that first empty one down there into there, tight single crochet, chain one, turn your work, go all the way back, making sure you start in that very first stitch you made. So keep going all the way back along this way. Make sure you go into that last one. It always looks a bit funny. Want to get two loops on your hook. There we go. And that's your last single crochet. And now into this bottom one, the first empty one, do a tight single crochet, or as tight as you can be. That just gives you a nice join there. You don't want big, big loose single crochets to join it, to pin it down. So chain one, turn your work into the first space, 
single crochet and now single crochet all the way back along the top into that last single crochet and now into the first empty one we're going to single crochet to join down in there that's your small one now chain one turn your work keep going back so you can see how the heel is starting to form just by doing what we're doing so that's a pretty great way of building a heel it makes sense to me like it's not as crazy as some other ones I've seen and you don't have to do any sewing which of course I like one single crochet into each stitch making sure you get into the very last one and then single crochet into the first empty one down below to pin it all down. Let me get smaller. Get my tension up. Small double crochet. I mean small single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Starting in that very first stitch, single crochet all the way back along the top to the other side. Crochet and now pin it down with a small single crochet to join it chain one and turn your work start in the very first stitch single crochet all the way back along to the other side now I'm going to do this whole heel with you so if I'm going faster than you are, just pause the video. But I don't want to I don't want you worrying that you're going to get confused by not seeing what I'm doing. So into the very last single crochet, remember to make your single crochet. Now into the empty spot below, the first empty stitch, make a small single crochet. Really give your yarn a tug. Make that one tight and then chain one. Turn your work into the very first stitch, the very first space kind of thing, single crochet and single crochet all the way back along. Into our last one, our last single crochet, a single crochet. Now we're going to pin it down. So we have one, two, three, four stitches left. So into the third, we're going to make our tight single crochet, chain one, and work our way back along. Make sure you go into the first little empty spot there. We're going into that first space to make a single crochet. And then each stitch all the way across the top. single crochet to the first empty spot, chain one, turn your work and single crochet all the way back along this side, into the last stitch, single crochet and to join jump down into that first stitch we always go into, chain one, turn your work, into, oops, pulled my hook out, into the first stitch, single crochet, and we're going to single crochet all the way back. So nothing's changed, everything's the same. Make sure you get into the last stitch, as always. And now slip stitch to our first empty stitch at the bottom, like always. Or single crochet into it, sorry. Then single crochet into the first stitch. So you've done two single crochets into the bottom. And turn your work. Now into that first stitch, 
So pretty much we just did a single crochet to join instead of a chain one into that first spot, do a single crochet and work this all the way back along. So one single crochet into each stitch. And no matter how big your heel is, like how many stitches you started with, uh, when you get to the last two, so you've single crocheted into, there's two empty spots left on the bottom basically, uh, you're going to do your single crochet into both of them and then just start working back, no chaining. Once you do one or two you'll see. At the beginning, that's why we're doing this one together, it can be a bit, uh, it's not tricky, it's just worrisome, you always worry you're doing it wrong. So now single crochet to the first spot that we always single crochet to and slip stitch to the first stitch just slip stitch and then chain one now we can cut our yarn and pull your hook up and your yarn through and just tighten that down now you can see our heel is totally heelish. <laughs> Looks like a heel. So that was pretty easy, right? Like once you understand how to do it, heels are not so scary anymore. So that's how I like to do my heels and that's how I do it for this pattern. So now we are ready for the next part which is joining our single crochet collar. So we have our stocking folded up nicely so our heel is in half and it's all laying flat. Our join is along the back, we can't see it. So everything is great. We're going to join our yarn right here at the tip. So I'm just pinching it and it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same, like it doesn't matter. Like I have two stitches up there. I'm just going to put my hook in uh, into one of the stitches. <laughs> Can you see? I'm just going to put my hook in to one of those stitches. And that's where I'm going to join my yarn. Then when we open it up, that's pretty much halfway in the bottom of the heel. And the seam will stay underneath the foot. That's our goal, is to just have the seam hiding the whole way. So put a loop of yarn on your hook. About a four inch tail and slip stitch with both strands to join. Now you can drop your tail. And you're going to chain one and now into the next stitch, single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch along this, this side of the heel. Just to join your new color in. The only trick now is we're going to do a couple decreases in the actual corner up here. You can drop your tail whenever you want to. And you're just going to space out your stitches. Uh, so that it looks appropriate, like so, and I'll go into this next one, that space. Now into this space here, I'm going to go into this, into the middle of that stitch, so I'm just going to go into the first strand of the front and grab a strand at the back and start my single crochet, leaving it on the hook. Now I'm going to go into this next stitch over here, the first stitch of my stocking, my boot side, start my single crochet, wrap my yarn and finish both those stitches together. So that was a decrease. I'll show you on the other side as well. So now one single crochet into each stitch along the leg of the stocking. Quick like a little bunny. So now I have my one last empty stitch on my, on my leg side of the stocking. So I'm going to start my single crochet and then into the center of that stitch I'm going to start a second single crochet and then wrap my yarn and take off all three loops. So that's a nice little decrease. And now I'm going to work my way up this side of the stocking making single crochets, one into every stitch. And we're going to skip that chain and make a slip stitch to the first real single crochet. So there is my yarn ready to go. Now I'm going to join my next color 
So to join, you're just going to do the same way, bring your new color through, leaving a tail. And these ones, we can, we can knot them again afterwards, so it's not that big a deal. Pull the single crochet color down to tighten it. Hold your tails for a little bit here. There we go. Chain two to get your height, same as always. And I'm going to go, I'm not going to go over my tail, I'm just going to go into that first stitch. And I'm going to do the same as we did for the leg, alternate your starting, if you're skipping the first stitch or not, and going into the last stitch where the chain is or not. So you're going to do one of those, or you do both of them actually, every other, every other row, same as the boot. Grab uh, your, grab your double crochet color, put a loop on your hook leaving a tail, we can knot these ones also and pull your single crochet color down. You're going to want to hold your tail down of your double crochet one too because it's not attached to anything, it's just hanging there. So give that a pinch while you start out and chain two like we always do and make a double crochet into the first stitch and not going over your tails, you're just going to leave them because we can knot them later. Now one, if you want to of course, you can work them in properly one double crochet into each stitch going along this side of the heel and again we're going to do decreases in the corner so I'll show you that, we're almost there this is the last single crochet so now there's the last single crochet of the heel and the la and the first single crochet of the leg part. We are going to start a double crochet in the last one of the heel. Wrap your yarn and take off two, leaving the last two loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn to start the second double crochet in the first stitch of the leg part. Wrap your yarn and take off two and then finish them together. So wrap your yarn and take off all three. And now we go around the leg part, one double crochet into each stitch, same as always, super easy. So before you get too close, keep an eye out where your last two stitches are, so this stitch and that stitch. So I have two more double crochets to make on the leg side of my stocking. And now these two, I'm going to do a decrease. So you're going to start your double crochet, wrap your yarn and take off two, leaving the last two loops on your hook, and wrapping your yarn again to start your second double crochet, and taking off two, and then wrapping your yarn and taking off all three. So that is a decrease. Now regular all the way to the join. Our last double crochet and because we went into the first stitch we're leaving that chain alone and we're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the first real double crochet to join so same as we were doing for the leg part of our stocking you're gonna grab your single crochet color and now you're just working the same as you were for the leg nothing new pull that down do your chain one and single crochet starting in that very first stitch and now if we lay it down sideways so now there's nothing new that we're going to do you can see it's laying down nice and flat you're going to want to do six rows of the double crochet so can and you want to end in the double crochet also so it'll look the same as this when we join to the toe so six rows of double crochet so for the leg we did 11 now we're doing six so do your six don't worry about the decreasing in the corner, we're finished that now, just one, 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 all the way down until we're ready to do the toe. We finished the six rows of the double crochet, here's our join. I have slip stitched, I have slip stitched to join and I'll do a chain one and now I'll cut, I'll cut these yarns, leaving enough, I'm going to knot these ones also, so I'm just leaving enough to knot and then pull that up and through and pull it down to secure. Now let's take care of our ends while we're here. 
if there's nothing to tie to it nearby, you're going to have to sew it in with a needle. But these last two on the top, we can knot these ones together. So we're going to do the same as we did on the bottom. We're going to knot them on top of your single crochet line. So pull the double crochet yarn down and make your knot on top of the single crochet. Make a little double knot and give it a pull. And now those ones can be cut off or you can cut them all later. So there's our foot done and ready. So we'll inside it out. Leg, heel, foot. So now we are ready for joining our toe or starting to form our toe. So we're going to fold it the same so it's nice and flat and our heel is behaving and everything's nice. And we're going to put our hook into this stitch here at the top. Anywhere over there, it doesn't totally matter. We just want all the joining to be uh, at the back of the slip of the stocking and underneath the foot. So we just put in our hook and grab your heel color again, which is now going to be your toe color, and I'm put a loop on your hook. You can join your yarn any which way you want, but put a loop on your hook, bring it through, and slip stitch with both to join. Now you can just leave your tail there. We can use it to knot with those other ones that we haven't cut yet. Chain one and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. I will meet you when we get back to where we're going to join but not join. So now back at our join, instead of joining, we are going to go in to this little slip stitch we made Let's push your hook in there, grab your yarn and bring it back, and you're going to make a single crochet. And now one into each stitch, you're making single crochets. So now we're going to be working in the spiral, so no joining for the toe, we're just going to be working around and around and around. If you have a hard time seeing where your join is, you are welcome to put a stitch marker. I'd like one not blue. You can put a stitch marker here where we're doing our step up just to keep track. So for this round we're going to be doing five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, and then a decrease. So to decrease, it's the same as we did on the heel part, but you start your single crochet in one stitch, start your single crochet in a second stitch, and finish them both together. So you're doing a decrease for your 6th and 7th stitch basically. So you're going to do one single crochet, two, three, four, and five. And then 6 and 7, you're just going to start 6, you're going to start 7, you're finishing them together. So a decrease for every 6th and 7th stitch. You're doing those ones together. So one two, three, four, and five, six starting, seven starting, and finishing them together. So we're doing that all the way around until the join, or to the stitch marker really. Now for the next round, we're going to be doing four single crochets and then a decrease for five and six. So one single crochet. You can move your stitch marker if you want. Two single crochets, three and four, and then five and six together. So every row of the toe, we're doing our decreases closer and closer together. So one, two, three, and four by themselves, and then five, six, finishing them together. So keep doing that all the way around, and I'll meet you with the stitch marker. So now back at the stitch marker for this next round, we're going to be doing three single crochets. One, 
2 and 3 and then 4 and 5 together. So 4, 5, finishing those together. 1, 2, 3, and then a decrease. Start 4, start 5, finish them together. So keep doing this all the way around and I'll meet you with a stitch marker. Now for the next round, we're going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease. So I just made my decrease here, but so I'll do one, two, and then I'll do a decrease. So you're doing this all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochets, and then a decrease. So three and four, you're crocheting together. So do that all the way around and I'll see you at the stitch marker. I'm just getting close to my stitch marker, so I'm supposed to do one and two and then a decrease. So I'm going to do that. One and two for a decrease. Now you're going to be doing one single crochet and then a decrease. One single crochet and then a decrease. One single crochet and a decrease. So do this all the way around to the stitch marker. Now for this round we're doing a decrease all the time. So we're always doing a decrease and we're now we're going to do decreases until it is small enough to sew together. So you don't really need to worry too much about the stitch marker. You just keep on doing decreases. So two single crochets together all the time. A bit fiddly, but whenever it gets too fiddly, you're always welcome to just sew it together with your yarn. But I like getting it quite small because it gives a nice little point on the end of the stocking, which I think looks cute. One, two, three, I don't know if I can do any more. I think I have two more I can do. One. Oh, it's tricky. Two. Okay, so there's my last decrease. Maybe, can I get any more? Maybe. Not really. All right. So that's as tiny as I can get mine. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail because I'm going to sew it in. Chain one to make a little bit of a knot and pull your yarn through and down. Now you're going to thread your darning needle like that and whatever um, stitches you have left, it's hard to see, I know, but in that center, you see that little hole? So whatever stitches you have left, we just go through them. You can go from inside to out or outside to in or however you do your stitching. But I'm just going to loop it and then put it through one side to the other side and poke it into the center of my stocking. Here we go. I'll get my hand in there to pull it out. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that down inside. There we go. So on the inside, we can take out our stitch marker. Now we are ready to make the trim for the top of the stocking. So take the same color you used for your heel and your toe and we're going to make a chain. So I leave enough of a tail, but you're going to make a chain first of 16. That is going to be for your hanging tag or the hanging loop. So one, two, 16. So chain of 16 and you're just going to turn it into a loop by pushing your hook into that first chain that you made and slip stitching to join. So there is your hanging tag. You can make it any size you like but for my house that works out to be a good size. Now you're going to chain 41 because you want it to be the same 
width as the top of your stocking, which was 41 stitches. So I'm going to use my tail and my yarn to chain in the beginning just to get that tail kind of taken care of. So three, four, and there is our 41, our 41 chains. So laying this one flat, I am going to push just into the bottom of this first chain, I'm trying to get into both of them, so one strand from that side and one strand from this side, and I will slip stitch to join like so. Make sure it's not twisted. So that's the same size. Now you have to get a bigger hook. So this one is a four and a half. Let me go and find like a five and a half or even a six. Oh, I think I have one here. This is not a clover. It's just a regular ergonomical grip but I'll still use it because I'm too lazy to go to the house. So that's a five and a half, so I'm going up one size. Just because we want our the trim to be wider and looser than the stocking. We don't want it to be like a tight cuff. So I'm gonna chain two, one and two, and then I'm making a half double crochet, one into every stitch. going back along this chain. It doesn't matter if you go into one loop or two loops or into the back ridge because we're going to be doing a row of single crochet to join this to the stocking. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see your edge. So you're just going to do one half double crochet into each stitch going back. At the end, make sure you go into every stitch and if you have a choice you can always add a stitch. I add a stitch where I do my chain just because we want the cuff to be wider than the stocking. So, but I still skip that chain. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet or the first half double, sorry. So slip stitch, chain two, one, two, and one more round. So we're doing this for four rounds. Oops, I skipped the first one there. So we're going to go into the first stitch. Every stitch, basically. If there's ever a choice of going into the stitch, yes, you are. You're going to make, you're going to end up with about an extra five or six stitches. Because where you join, you're going to put in an extra stitch. So keep doing this for how many rounds? Let me see. So do four rounds of half double crochet, adding in a stitch when you join and chaining two to step up. And I will meet you after the fourth round is finished, or the fourth row. So we've made it all the way around for four rounds. One, two, three, four. I've thrown in extra stitches where the join is just to give a little bit of extra space. So if yours looks like that, don't worry about it. And we will slip stitch to join. So still slip stitching to the top of the first real stitch. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches. So that first little stitch and the next stitch, wrap your yarn and single, I mean, wrap your yarn and double crochet into the third stitch. Chain two, one and two, wrap your yarn and double crochet into the third stitch. And repeat this all the way around. So chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third stitch. So we're making these, this framework all the way around. Chain two skip two, one, two, double crochet into the third. I will meet you for the join. 
So back over here at the join, you can see it's not quite even. We have one, two, three, four, five stitches. So we're going to just kind of fudge it because the idea is the more petals or the more edging, the better. It'll be more uh, loose along the bottom. So if you have a choice, if it doesn't work out perfect for you, because I added stitches in there, add more, for, add more of these spaces than less. So I am going to just skip one stitch and put a double crochet into the second and chain two like that and then I'm going to slip stitch to the third chain to join so one two and three so push your hook in getting two loops on your hook grab your yarn and bring it back and bring it through that loop on your hook now slip stitch into this next space so get your yarn over into that space chain two that's going to count as your half double. Now you're going to wrap your yarn and do a double crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and do a triple crochet or a treble. So that's wrap your yarn twice, take off two, take off two, take off two. And now a double crochet. And now a half double crochet. So we're making those little shells all the way along. So wrap your yarn into the next space, half double, wrap your yarn double, wrap your yarn twice, triple, wrap your yarn once, double, wrap your yarn once, half double, like that. So we're going to be doing that all the way around. Each one of these little windows is, be is going to be getting that same stitch pattern. We'll do one more half double, double, treble. So that's wrapping twice. Take off two, take off two, and take off two. And then double, and then half double. So keep doing that all the way around, and I'll meet you at this join. So we finished up. Now I'm going to slip stitch down into this first chain there just to pull it down a bit so just slip stitch to join <clears throat> excuse me chain one to secure your work cut your yarn pull your hook up and your yarn through and tug that down to secure like that and now you can see that they all match you can't really see where you started and anything extra we did our adjustment is right near the hanger so it's going to be on the very side or the very edge of our stocking and nobody's really going to notice so that's how we do that now this tail we're going to weave in just quickly get your stocking and it's laying nice and flat so flat and this is the bottom and this is the side where we did our joining and we're going to do the same for the top part we're going to put the side with our joining on top of the side with the joining so just pop it onto your stocking like so lining up that joining area and pulling it through like that so that's nicely lined up And now you're pretty much going to need to start somehow like this. We're going to join our yarn on this side. And I'm finished using my bigger hook. I ended up switching to a 6 millimeter clover because ergonomical just doesn't cut it when you're spoiled. And now you're just going to attach the same color yarn as your trim. So I'm just going to go onto this stitch so into the stitch of the trim and into two loops of the stocking and this is where we're joining or where we joined up so it's a bit finicky but just do your best 
Where is it? Okay. So put the loop on your hook, bring it through, and slip stitch with both to join. Now you can just drop that tail. We can work over it. Chain one, and into the pick up the next stitch of your trim, and the next stitch of your stocking. <clears throat> and then just put your tail over top, so you can work over it. And we're just going to do single crochets all along the top. So into the stitch of the trim, and into the stitch of the stocking, lay your tail down and single crochet. So we're doing this all the way around. This is how we're going to do our joining. And if there's any dis discrepancy on your stitch count, it's going to be hidden right here underneath your hanger. So nobody's going to see it. So low stress, just keep going. Grab the trim, grab the stocking, and single crochet. Whenever you want to stop going over your tail, fine by me. Because it is the top of the stocking, it might stretch a little bit. So I would leave a little bit to sew in in the opposite direction later. So I'm going to drop my tail now so I can work that in later. Just so it doesn't wiggle out and need a haircut because nothing makes things look worse than tails coming out. Makes me crazy. So one single crochet into both pieces, one into each stitch all the way around and I will meet you when we get closer to that hanger or our loop. So now back closer to this loop, our hanging tab, we want, you want to make sure that every stitch on the trim has a stitch in it because that's where your people are going to be looking. If two stitches have to go into one on the stocking, it's absolutely fine. That's the side that you can fudge on. Try not to fudge on the outside. So get right up to that loop and then get into it somehow. Just kind of push your way. And now this one I'm just going to slip stitch because we're going to go right in front. Okay, I'm just going in front of it now so it's going to behave like that. And then on this side I'll make one more single crochet and I'll drop that tail so we can sew it in. So on this side I'll do a single crochet and where I let it all go. Now I will slip stitch to the first real single crochet to join as always and chain one. Now I'm going to cut my yarn and pull my yarn, my hook up and my yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now when you look at your stocking, even on the bad side, so this is all of our seam work, is here you can see that that looks quite tidy. Really pull that down. And we'll sew in this tail as well. Now you can choose to sew this in or to snip it off. And now it's the time where you have to work in your tails. So that's a little fussy, but not so bad. And there's your cute little stocking. So your cuff has extra stitches in it and a bigger hook so you can see how it lays on top of your stocking it's not tight there's lots of space underneath there and your seam is hidden and your seam is hidden and you have the sweetest little stocking so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial I'd love to see your stockings love to see what yarn you're using for them uh, please post pictures join our Facebook group I'll put the link in the description box below. So join our Facebook group and post pictures of your stockings. I'd love to see it. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and stay hooked.